Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. This is a TS Tech Talks video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to make use of InShot. Now, InShot is a video editor that I showed you guys previously on my video on the top 5 best video recorder for your mobile device. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to edit a pre-recorded video. Now, let's assume I already have a video recorded on my device and I am um, trying to show you guys this is a video I recorded with MobiZone um, this one is the one I recorded with MobiZone and I want to show you guys how to edit this particular video on your U-Code now let's say this is a video and I'm trying to join this video with um, a different video so there are different things that InShot can do and there are also things that um, other video recorders couldn't do that InShot can do. So I'm only going to show you what InShot can do and later on I'm going to show you what other videos can do that InShot can do. You notice this video right there. This is actually the intro that displays on my video. So I'm going to like have that entered on my video on InShot video editor and then also enter the video I want to edit. I already showed you guys the two video I want to edit. Now let's go ahead and open InShot. Now this is the InShot video editor, just go ahead and click on it to open. If this is the first time you are opening it, you are going to see this introduction and it will ask you to actually select if you want to make use of a premium version. But if you do not want to make use of a premium version, just tap on the outside and then click on this X right there to close it. It's just an advert for you to join the premium version that is letting you know that you want to there are also premium version and you can make use of the premium version and if you want to join the premium version anytime you notice this crown icon when you tap on it you'll be able to see this um the advert also so if not go ahead and let's start editing our video now in short can also create collage and you can notice it has photos this option is for photo editor the first one is for video editor the second one is for photo editor and the third one is for you to create a collage now let's start with the video editor which is something i already showed you guys that i'm going to be discussing on today's video click on the video now it says um allow in shots to access photos and media on your device go ahead and allow it now when you click on allow it will be able to access your gallery and display all of the videos that are existing on your gallery now um what i want to do remember on the other device the location was actually on the downloads does the um, introduction video that displays on the beginning of my video so i'm going to click on that and scroll down to the exact area and select that and now you see this green icon go ahead and select it to confirm your selection now you can notice there is an information it says um select one track to edit now it's showing you an information on how to edit it you notice how it's moving it up and down in order for it to edit that particular stuff so just click on next this is just a formal information on how to make and edit the particular video the way you want and if you notice on this top area those are all the tools that you need to make use of in order for you in order for you to edit your um in short video the way you want and on top it's just displaying an ads for you so you can go ahead and click on the ads if you are interested in that but that is not what we are going to be doing today so on the beginning of my video it always start like this and then it just goes and end to where i click on the um, bell icon so after the bell icon it stops then the remaining of the video i do not want to have it so all i'm going to do i will have to cut that particular stuff you notice there is a cut tool right there um, this tool called split I'm going to click on it to split that particular video so this half is going to play and this half is going to play and if you click on play it will continue playing the other half so I do not want this other half to play I want to stop it at the other side but I'm okay with this one so it can start from here and stop at where I splitted it so I splitted it in two this side is going to play this now it has completed and once it starts the other end i do not want to have the other end so i'm going to go ahead and remove that particular one since i split it i can go ahead and delete it now you notice there is a delete button right there there is a trash can button right there go ahead and click on it to delete now you notice that one has deleted so if the video start playing from the beginning and gets to this area it will stop so now the video have stopped playing okay after the video stop playing i want a video to continue just like on my video usually if you're watching my video you see the intro display after the intro displays and the video will start now in order for the video to start click on this plus icon right there 
when you click on the plus icon it actually allows you to select anything you want now either you want it to be blank or you want to choose the fit um the video and photo so since i want to add that particular video i showed you guys earlier before we started making this video i'm going to go ahead and click on video slash photo so it will display all of this area for me also and instead of scrolling everything is here actually but i do not want to randomly guess Instead of scrolling, I already know the folder where um, the video is located. It's actually located on the MobiZone folder because I actually made the recording of the video with MobiZone. So all I need to do is to click on this three dotted icon that displays um, the downloads. And now I'm going to scroll down to look for MobiZone folder. This is MobiZone. I'm going to click on that. And that is the video that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and select the video that I want. And you notice it's been selected because it's the one on gray. Now you notice this green icon activate. Now note that if is not selected is actually gray because nothing is active now once you select it it becomes green so once it turns to green go ahead and click on that green icon now the video is going to start from the beginning and play this way it plays the intro then after the intro it plays the main video now wait for it there you go so um the video will start playing and then when it gets to the end this is the end of the video so once the video ends, I'm also going to put an outro. So an outro is the one that plays in the end. If you have a different one, go ahead and select that. But for the case, for my own case, I actually make use of this particular option. And sorry, I want to select the outro. This is a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. And I'm going to deselect. Now it's been deselected. And click this three dotted icon. I have to go to download again. It should be on top right now this is download click on download scroll down back and then select and now click on the check icon to check and then i'm going to still play just like it plays once it gets to the end i will split and then delete so this is how i make my video put intro put outro and then um once i'm done and click on save but then again another thing guys so if the video is probably playing i don't know if it has this feature it's been a while i made use of movie zone actually so if it has um probably you want to highlight something on on in short um there is this um pencil icon right there um it should be there is a test icon but there is no pencil icon display right there for some reason it used to be that if you want to draw you can go ahead and select a pencil icon but for some reason they have removed that option but then they actually added a sticker so we can make use of the sticker to replace the um, drawable pencil so in order to make use of the sticker all you need to do is to click on this um, icon emoji and you notice there is a lot of information right there now now on default it actually selected the gift that is the um oh, actually is the emoji that is selected you can choose this to choose default emoji but this is the animated emoji if you want to add animated emoji on the video you can go ahead and add it i actually selected one on by mistake so but what we actually want to do, we actually want to look for a way to um, mention a particular um, area on the video, probably to highlight a particular area. Since there is no way to draw a circle, now we are going to look for arrows. So I choose um, the GIF and now I'm going to look for arrows. There should be arrows. That used to be around here. Let me go ahead and search for it. Arrow. So it might find it and it might not find it, but let's go ahead and give it a try and see if it gets the arrow for us. It hasn't gotten to any exact arrow that we want. So um, this is not too bad, but this is not exactly what we want. This is also looking good, but I just need a simple arrow that can point on a particular stop i don't want to waste a lot of time on this so that the video won't get too long but anyway let me just click on this but actually you guys understand what i mean so on your own end you can go ahead and choose any one you want so let's say that is the arrow now you notice it's pointing right let's say we actually want to um tell the user that what we are doing what we are pointing at is the youtube so it's pointing at the youtube right now so that is how to make that but since there is no option for us to um 
for us to indicate or to draw we can now make use of a test there is also a test option so you can just say so i'm assuming we are creating a tutorial right there oh i want to say youtube now i just made a test i want to add colors to it so just make a fancy something there are already um already existing colors right there that's the reason why i selected it but if you do not want you can go ahead and change it and you can also see the colors right there the colors are very easy to change so once you're done click on select and then position it anywhere you want if you want to reduce the size drag it down or increase it make it any way you want and if you're done click on this check icon to confirm and it will display all of this icon but there is no option for us to select arrow or to draw an arrow for some reason which is not cool and then there is a lot of cool things that it can do but this video is already taking too much time you can rewind you can make a video play slower so now for some reason if we want to make a video play slower for us like a slow motion kind of stuff all we need to do is to, is to reduce the timer of it when you reduce when you um, reduce the timer it becomes a bit faster when you increase the timer it becomes a bit slower so all you need to do is to click and then drag the length of the video like at the end of that particular area just click on that particular area you want to let me say i want this place to be in a slow motion let me go ahead and split and then go ahead and split and now select that particular stuff now there should be a speed right there now this is the speed so now if we want the video to be faster you just increase the time by like this you notice it's a bit faster now if you want it to be on a slow motion just reduce it yes. so it's going to be in a slow motion but because there is a voice in it you can't actually tell the difference you are now um listening to the voice and see if the voice is a bit weird and funny thing is it actually going to affect only the area that i selected you notice before i added this effect i actually split the two area so depending on what effect you want to add on your video just split in between the area you want to add and now go ahead and add all of those effects and also guys that is not all for this video there is even more effects that you can add by looking over all of this area and then before i round up this video guys there is actually a way to make i'm going to discard there is actually a way to actually set your video size which i did not mention which is very important now let's say i'm actually going to um make a video and then an actual um video size is very important so the video size on default is going to be set according to the the first video you selected and this first video i selected is already 920 by 80 dp which is already the default size for youtube video is actually going to display a full width of the youtube video so now let's um assume you do not want to um have the frame rate that way actually selected the wrong thing let's assume you do not want to have the frame rate that way you can go ahead and choose this first option right there this first option right there the first option actually allows you to select a frame rate you know you notice the first one is free you notice it actually selected it which is the default youtube size and this next one is actually for instagram so if you are probably making instagram video use that particular option and if it's a youtube video use this one which is already the previous one that i already showed you guys so selecting the frame and the frame rate of the video is actually going to be the size or the way you want the video to be sized so go ahead and um check out all of this option that is included here if you want to make a youtube short you can go ahead and use this option or you use the instagram option but the youtube short is actually a vertical video so you can go ahead and make use of this instagram format of the size of video but if you just want to make a normal video recording and editing go ahead and make sure you use this particular option before you start editing so after selecting all of that option you can now start making editing of your video and also guys before i round up let's say you want to add a music to the in short all you need to do is to click this um audio icon and then go ahead either you record a a song or you add a track from your device let's say there is this is an existing track from um this is not from my device this is actually from the InShot. so it's either not a free music so when you use this kind of song they copyright you for using them so i'm actually going to click on this particular song 
and then you notice it says my music so these are all the downloaded music on my device so if for some reason guys you have any downloaded music on your device go ahead and choose let me say i choose this oh that's taking so much time so this is um you know this song already now let's say i want to use that song for the video once you select the song just go ahead and click on use and you notice the song is going to be playing along the video but now you notice um it's actually playing two songs at the same time now we are going to have to reduce the volume of one and then increase the volume of one now i'm going to reduce the volume of um the click button of the intro so i'm going to click on that and then there is the, is going to pop up the volume of the video now i'm going to go ahead and reduce it entirely and now let's play it again you see so now it's only going to play the music i added and it's not going to play the audio coming from the existing video so if for some reason guys you want to do any of this stuff it's very special and very easy to do after you're done doing um your editing and stuff all you need to do is to click on the save icon right there go ahead and choose on the best resolution and if you are uploading youtube videos make sure you choose the 1080 dp once you choose that it will start uploading your video and you notice 1080 choose this 1080 and then click save so it's going to save your video on 1080 dp just make sure you have it on this particular area if you close it it's going to be slow if you remove it like let's say you minimized it it's going to be slow uh, rendering your video so make sure you stay on the field until it completes rendering your video all right guys um thank you for watching this video hope you subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with your friends i'm going to see you on my next video peace